People often ask me, how do you go about choosing an SD card? Your first consideration will be the speed of the card. If you are shooting bursts of stills or video, speed will be a big factor. If you get a card that is too slow, your camera will stop to write to the card. If you are shooting video, this could lead to lost frames and missing sections of video. There are quite a few markings that indicate how fast an SD card is. Let's take a look at a simple indicator that will help you pick the right card. The card will have its speed class listed. I have shown them here in order from slowest to fastest. A U1 or C10 card is fast enough for general still photography, although it may not be fast enough for rapid fire bursts of shots. Depending on your camera, it may also be fast enough for HD video. A U3 or B30 card is fast enough to shoot HD video and bursts of still photos and with many cameras 4K video, although some 4K cameras will require a V60 card. Your next decision is the card's storage capacity. Most current SD cards range in size from about 4 gigabytes to 512 gigabytes. I would consider 32 gigabytes to be the minimum for a DSLR or mirrorless camera. According to SanDisk, a 32 gigabyte card will hold about 4,000 average size JPEGs or about 40 minutes of HD video. The only disadvantage of getting a card that is faster or having more storage than you need is that it is more expensive. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at acrotech.net.